Alabama won the toss and deferred. Kyle Robinson set to kick it away. John Eubanks, five yards deep, will take a knee. And Southern Miss will start things from their own 20-yard line. Luke Johnson to punt it away for the Golden Eagles. Good kick. Shawd Williams hauls it in at the 29-yard line. He is leveled and driven back. Marvin Young back deep for the Golden Eagles. Bo Freeland boots it away. Wobbly kick that will go out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Tim Blackwell checks into the backfield alongside Damian Carter. Third down, pressure comes. Carter unloads to Blackwell. Trips up, but able to keep his feet long enough to get the first down as he crosses the 30-yard line. Shotgun for Carter. Shovel pass to Blackwell. Spun down shy of the 40-yard line. He'll be about a yard and a half short of the first down as Roman Harper trips him up. Johnson to punt it away again. Hangs that one up high. Williams calls for the fair catch and brings it in at the 22. Second down and nine. They give it to Hudson once again. A little running room. Over the right side, he barrels across the 30. Brought down by John Eubanks. Third and a short two. And Hudson will have Alabama's first. First down of the game, tripped up at the 35. John Eubanks. And you can notice both teams are very conservative. Very conservative. I mean, the short pass, no, no pass that are thrown down the field to try to, to create something. That'd be just short passes, something the quarterback can do. Beautiful high kick by Freeland. Fair catch made by Marvin Young at the 10-yard line. That's what that's what their bread and butter is, running the ball. And I think a big play in the passing game will, will, will determine the outcome of this game. Williams again calls for and makes the fair catch. The exchange of punts and Alabama is getting the better of the field position battle right now, starting around the 46-yard line, a 42-yard punt that time. Sean Williams straight ahead running, takes it into Golden Eagle territory. Brought down at the 47-yard line by Corey Yates and Etrin Pruitt. A couple of inches short of the first down. Williams will have the first down and more. He is gone. Touchdown, Alabama. 44 yards for Sean Williams. Sean Williams back at his own 40-yard line. Low, wobbly kick. Will roll dead right at the 40-yard line. 41-yard punt, no return. Castile in front of Ray Hudson, who gets the handoff. Sprints over the left side, out near midfield. And close to a first down, about a half yard shy. John Eubanks, sophomore, makes the stop. Half a yard for Alabama. Hudson, straight ahead, will have the first down. Into Southern Miss territory. Look at the first quarter stats. That was a huge play. Uh, it could be a huge play because if they would have completed it, they'd been down deep in Southern Miss territory, and it's a huge play for Southern Miss because, number one, obviously they're punt. Freeland hangs it up high again. Marvin Young calling for the fair catch, makes it. And it will. <laughs> Third and ten. They'll play it safe. Give it to Blackwell. He's got some running room. Crosses the 20-yard line and tripped there. Maybe by the hash mark. And he's going to be a couple of yards short of the first down. Look. Little sprint draw. It about worked out for a first down for him, though. Johnson punting again. His best kick of the day. Williams back at the 30. Tries to reverse his field and maybe a sign of the 
Wet turf, slips down. That game had a pleasant outcome if you were an Alabama fan. Sean Williams with a burst out across the 40, close to a first down before Alex Ray and Ettrick Pruitt get him to the ground. Josh Smith checks in at the F position, leads the way for Sean Williams, who will pick up the first down. Out across the 42-yard line. Heels it off to Sean Williams, who ducks his head and moves the pile up near midfield. Just does get it off. Williams over the right side. Out of bounds at the 38. Sean Williams one more time. Finds a little crease. Knifes his way down to the 30-yard line. John Eubanks, another tackle for USM. Michael. Sean Williams does an excellent job of reading his blockers up front and making positive yardage. Eighth play of the drive. Another run with Williams. Slips off a would-be tackler and picks up the first down. As we tick down to the seven-minute mark of the first half. Ray Hudson straight ahead, nearing another Alabama first down. As he and Rod both, uh, they complement each other well. Third down. Hudson coming to the near side. Ducks his head and will be awfully close to that first down marker as he takes it inside the 15-yard line. Third down and 10 for Avalos and the Tide. They'll keep it on the ground. Sean Williams over the right side will come up a little bit short of the first down. Travis Coley. Nick Ridings, one of the game captains, the snapper. Dave Jardina, the holder for the Tide. And Bostic nails that one through. So with 2.56. To play before halftime, the Crimson Tide tacks on three. They roll the pocket, Allman in trouble, dumps it off to Blackwell. Dives forward near the 30-yard line and is very close to the first down. That's a heck of a play by Dustin Allman. Third down for the Golden Eagles. Clock stop with a minute 11. Bama comes on the blitz. Allman throws incomplete. Had to hurry that one a little bit, but a flag comes down, and I think they're going to get Alabama for a late hit on Dustin Allman. Allman from the shotgun sets up the screen to Blackwell. Gain of 10, maybe 11 yards. That good call there on first down for Southern Miss setting up the screen, and it works out beautifully for them as they spot the ball at the 41-yard line. Protection for Allman. He throws a strike complete to Antoine Currington. Alabama can understand exactly why. <laughs> Second down and nine. Shovel pass to Blackwell with blocking. Dives out of bounds. Right at the 12-yard line, that will be good for another first down. Here's Darren McCaleb. They will try the field goal and not risk anything with just seven seconds. McCaleb, kick on the way, and good. Darren and I come from the same high school, the Appleville High School in Biloxi. And that will be the final play of the first half. 27-yard field goal for the Golden Eagles as time expires and a nice drive by Jeff Bauer's team resulting in points and it's a 10-3 Alabama lead as the teams head to the locker room. And two of, two of those occurred when I was a senior in high school and of course my tenure here at Alabama. Avalos hands it off to Sean Williams. Ty trying to pick up where it left off in the first half, and that's eight yards for Sean Williams on first down before Alex Ray makes the tackle. One of the few times really lately that the Southern Miss defensive line has gotten some penetration and established itself. Third and one. Sean Williams will have the first down. 
keeps those legs moving up to about the 34-yard line, wrapped up by Antoine Cash. Marvin Young, a very dangerous return man, awaits. Low, wobbly kick that time by Freeland. Fielded on a hop by Young, and Alabama swarms him under at the 22-yard line. Set up the screen pass to Blackwell. Picks up the first down and more. Out across the 35-yard line, just shy of the 40. Allman pressured and sacked. Back at the 35 by Mark Anderson. Three receivers to the near side for the Golden Eagles. They'll give it to Blackwell, and he is swarmed under for a loss. Freddie Roach led the charge for the Alabama defense. Allman flushed out. In trouble and slides down around the 27-yard line. That'll be another loss on the play. Roman Harper with the tackle. Antoine Odom got the pressure. It's fourth and about 22 now in punting time. Three plays, three losses there for Alabama's defense, and that's the way they want to start the second half. Luke Johnson boots it away. Sean Williams does not call for the fair catch and takes a shot right at the 23-yard line. No pressure, and he gets away another beautiful kick. Young at the 13. Able to keep his feet and takes it out to the 30-yard line before a flag comes flying in. Block in the back. Gets a return team on the return. The penalty's 10 yards from the spot of the foul. It is a first down. Allman hands it off to Blackwell. Shifty running gets him out to the 20-yard line. Third and one, eye formation this time. As Anthony Harris checks in at the fullback for the Golden Eagles. They'll give it to the fullback, and Harris is very close to the first down. I think he will have it. Unloads that one over the middle, complete. Currington with the catch, and the nice run after the catch will take it into Alabama territory. Third and long, they know Almond is going to draw back and try to hit probably one of those little square ends that he was had so much success with earlier in the game. They bring the blitz, and it pays off. Johnson to punt it away, hangs that one up high. Williams tried to make a fair catch, but couldn't get up there in time to do it. <laughs> but I don't fully understand it. If a player makes it to this level, if he makes it to Division I football, he should be able to run the offense. And I think that Brandon Avalos is very capable of it. Well, Tyler, you know as well as I do. I mean, a lot of times that had to do with the coach. Freeland has had a good day up to this point, punting for the tie. Young at the 20. Brought down after about an eight-yard return. Thank you, Chris. Golden Eagles start at their own 28. Allman wants to throw. And completes it to Currington, just shy of midfield. Picks up four yards, second and six. Allman swings it out near side to Currington. Tackled at the 40-yard line, but that's good for another first down. Blackwell back in there in the backfield. Option look, Allman will keep it as flags fly. Dustin Allman tackled around the 31-yard line, but this one may be coming back. Allman tackled around the 31. I bet, bet you an Alabama defensive lineman was tackled around the 40. Little skinny post right here, in and out of the hands. Give a lot of credit, though, to the Alabama secondary. I believe it's Charlie Johnson. Johnson now bobbles the snap, and he will be dropped back at the 23-yard line. A special team miscue for Southern Miss, and Alabama is in business. 36-yard try for Brian Bostic. 
to make it a 10-point lead for the tie. On the way, but no good. He pushed it right. Luke Johnson on to punt. High snap that time and blocked by Alabama. Ball loose, scooped up by the tie. Chris James. Out of bounds, inside the one. Inside the one. Williams. Joe Kynes, defensive coordinator for the Crimson Tide, has to be awfully pleased with what his group has done today as Robinson boots it away. Eubanks, two yards deep, bobbles it and brings it out. Finds a hole, flags are down as Eubanks sprints down the Southern Miss sideline and will take it into the end zone, but I think this one is going to come back. Holding, gets the receiving team on the run back. Ten yards, and the spot of foul, first down. Yep. Flag that problem seeing. It was back on about the 20 or 25 yard line. It may have gotten lost in the mud, but they never picked that one up. Allman goes to the air, finds Blackwell down the near sideline for a big gain. <laughs> Uncharacteristic for Allman. We've seen him sharp all afternoon. Make here's a fake, fake punt. Johnson throws and the catch is made for a first down. Blitz comes. Allman unloads. Complete to Currington. Inside the 30-yard line. That's good for a Golden Eagle first down. Second and ten, three-step drop and throw. Catch made that time by Currington. Slides down at the 20-yard line. Allman, 50%, 170 yards on the day. Try to set up the screen, but Alabama reads that one well. Ball comes loose. Tied players say it's Alabama ball. Southern Miss players say they've got it, but it's going to go to the tie. Alabama's been running the ball all day. They're trying to run out the clock. You know what they're going to do. Go for it. They give it to Sean Williams. He drags the pile up to the 30-yard line, and that'll be good for a first down. He stays in there. Josh Smith ahead of him at the fullback spot. Shaw cuts it up, has another first down for the tie. That's where usually when it happens. At the latter parts of the first, at the of the fourth quarter, is when you start to see the a difference. A lot of missed tackles. Yeah, and all that comes from fatigue. Ray Hudson, and there you see it again. Two missed tackles. A lot of that comes from fatigue. First down, Alabama trying to milk three more minutes off the clock if possible. Hudson, some shifty moves. Takes it inside the 30 and another first down. It's a first down for the Crimson Tide. Ray Hudson gets the call. Some more nice running by the junior from Bonifay, Florida. Second and one. Hudson stays in there, and now some play action. Avalos floats it up long, and it's intercepted in the end zone. Etrick Pruitt. Look at those numbers for the Alabama defense. A minus two yards rushing for USM. Fourth and five, catch made by Deron Lawrence. Out across the 45 to the 46-yard line. First down, 41 seconds to play in the game. Allman will run. Heading for the sideline, he'll slide down shy of the 40. Tied in Oxford next Saturday to take on the Ole Miss Rebels. Allman on the run. 
Heads toward the sideline. Gets shoved out of bounds. That will stop the clock with 18 seconds. First down. Allman underneath. Blackwell. That's a catch and a fumble. And Alabama comes away with it. Charlie Pepper heading toward the end zone, but they'll say he stepped out of bounds. No, he didn't. Very no, close. No. The only thing that could have gone out of bounds would have, would have been his heel. Hard to tell. It's all academic now. It is indeed. <laughs> Alabama, a hard fought. What else is new? 17-3 win over the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Mike Shula's team improves to 3-4 and four on the year. Jeff Bowers' club falls to 3-3. Three and three. They've got an off week ahead. Alabama will head to Oxford to take on Ole Miss next Saturday. And what a day for that young man. He didn't throw for 300 yards, but in his first start, he helps Alabama end a three-game losing streak. Brandon Avalos today did everything that he was asked to do. He only made one mistake, and that was that interception, which came late in the game. It really didn't have an outcome on the, on the game itself. He did everything that these coaches asked him to do. He prepared. He led this team. He put Alabama in the right place. 